All right, let's talk workspaces, baby. That came off a little too strong. So let's talk workspaces. How'd that sound? Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty AS- ASMR-y. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Datu. Welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. Today, again, we are going to be talking about workspaces. So last week, we talked about next day edits. I want to kind of dive back into the whole foundation again of the file structure and the Final Cut Pro library features that you may or may not have heard of. And this one is workspaces. So you will go into your template library again and open up your library library and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about how to make a workspace you know I've noticed I talk a lot with my hands and I feel like a lot of people notice that too I don't know I just got to do this so in Final Cut Pro you will go up to window workspaces and you'll see here I have four different workspaces I have one for color mastering one for culling one for multicam and one for skeleton and we could switch through all four of these different workspaces and to just give you a little bit of a look into what they look like for color mastering i have my color wheels my luma waveform my rgb parade stuff like that that's where i have set for my color grading or color mastering workflow i have my inspector box and the view for the actual film and the timeline at the bottom and this is what my cooling workspace looks like and cooling if you don't know it's just like going through all the footage and making sure you want this footage instead of this footage or like part of this clip is good but then the other part is garbage so you don't want to use the other part because obviously it's garbage it's just organizing and choosing the clips that you want to use throughout your whole wedding film wedding edit you don't know if you're going to use any of them at all or a majority of them you just know this clip looks good i'm going to organize it next workspace is multicam and multicam i use primarily for the ceremony edit just because I do use more than one camera that way I could switch on and off for creating my wedding films and I do th- do this after my culling process just because I know I'm going to be giving them a ceremony edit or ceremony film so having already a cut and dry film or clip length that is already done for me really helps with again not using as much time for creating a ceremony edit and then skeleton skeleton workspace is basically i'm i'm in this workspace the majority of the time after i cull and after i multi-cam the reason is because i'm trying to get the whole edit together trying to get a rough cut of everything clips where i want them and then i do a little bit of like fine tweaking after i get the rough cut done and then after my skeleton workspace i transition into my color mastering and i do like do switch on and off between those two because i do a majority of the sound design in my skeleton workspace but those are my four like main workspaces and to create them i'll show you how to do that right now but depending on how you want to set everything up for each different category of workspaces that's how you have to do it and then you save it so for this case say um I want one where I see all the clips like not in this view but in the like picture view and I'll use all so each clip has their own thumbnail in a way so say I want to have it like this for my workspace I'm going to create so after I have all the different like screens inside my workspace that I want in there that's when I hit window workspace and then save workspace as and that's when you name your workspace Um, I'll name it example and hit save and then when you go back to your window go back to workspace you'll see example and then I'll go off there and I'll go back and see if it saved everything example there you go awesome and it's not just like the settings and everything really does stay as an example of like the actual clips itself so in my calling one I have it in list format and then in my example one I had it in thumbnail format and then if you want to delete a workspace that you have saved this is how you do it go again to workspaces um, go to open workspaces folder in library it'll pull up another window has workspaces and then again it has all the names that you've already had I will link this in the description below for all the workspaces I use if you want to use them if not by all means you don't have to but if you want to delete one just right click move to trash there you go it should be deleted 
I hope so. Yeah, it's not there anymore. That's a little quick overview of workspaces in Final Cut Pro. Hopefully you use them to help again, streamline your workflow and just have everything all like nice and neat and organize how you want. Next few weeks, we will probably be diving more into what different workspaces are and why I do it like that and all that. So tune in in those next couple of weeks, we will be breaking those down. Other than that, if you have any questions, again, comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback. That's all I got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. I appreciate you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Share it if you're into that. Consider subscribing if you're not already. And hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos. And as always, follow me on all them social medias at Aaron Datu Films. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace. Oh, oh God, I ended it with an ASMR uh, outro. Peace. <laughs>